Hey folks, it's Tim. It is, um, you'd think I'd remember what the hell I said yesterday. Thursday, the 22nd of December, about 20 after 4 in the afternoon here. Today we've whipped up some Taylor Bond Street, German Street collection for sensitive skin. Um, I've used too much, um, because I've got, uh, that on the brush and this in the bowl. Uh, it lathers obscenely. Um, I don't mind having too much. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked yesterday in the comments what does cello smell like? Smells like marzipan. Kind of almondy, maraschino, cherryish. Well, like marzipan. Uh, I got most of my feedback to Tom's video out yesterday while watching it through his comments section. Because I was uploading yesterday's Shea video and kind of ran out of internet, so I pulled up the view only comments on my computer. I watched the video on my phone and then just typed along as I watched. Mm-hmm. Oops. Alright, so today I'm gonna use the old slim. Set her to six because I put a uh, permasharp in it. I haven't used that blade in this razor, so I'd rather not uh, just start at nine. So far, so good. I think I'll turn this up next pass. A whole lot to uh, happen in the day. Um, I'm about to run into the grocery store and get a few things we need to, or we've decided that we wanted to. Uh, bake some cookies. And we could use a few supplies as well. A bunch of Christmas shopping last night. Uh, was incredibly angered by uh, the usual recipient of my anger. Well, not recipient, uh, cause of APs. Um, dealt with that. And. Uh, Wrapped a bunch of presents, listened to Christmas music, drank some good scotch. Responsibly. I'm still scared of scotch. I mean, I quite enjoy it, but uh, in the past it's gotten the best of me, so I tend to ration my intake. <clears throat> because of the uh, <laughs> toddler situation. We put all of our gifts. Before we had enough, we could just kind of keep them in the laundry room, which isn't very big. And now we've actually commandeered the dog kennel from downstairs. That really only bothers one of them, because really only Beans uses the kennel. Frankie'd much rather lay on the couch or a recliner. Yes, he's a bit spoiled. Today we're going to bake some cookies. Um, I 
I think we're going to do chocolate chip and um, some of our recipe we found that it's like a mint chocolate chip based on Andy's candies. We're going to give that a go. I love Andy's and the idea of a cookie made out of it sounds even better. Sounds like nearly the ideal cookie to have with a cup of coffee. Part of the fun last night also, and this is not a complaint, so don't take it that way, it's just an observation. Um, my mother um, is wonderful. She is sometimes doesn't doesn't think things all the way through. She's been over here. She knows my house. She knows where the base is in relation to my house, which isn't exactly close. And she knows what kind of a car I drive and how much how small the trunk seems after you put a stroller in it. So she sent me four very large boxes full of presents. Not upset, very thankful. Um, but that required uh, quite a bit of effort to get into the car. And I really wasn't expecting it. Because she had mentioned to me that she was going to mail them out at different times. Um, so that it would be easier for us to wrangle them back and forth. Oh well. They're here. Uh, I can't wait to get into them. Because I know uh, two of the things that I got. She got me some Razor Rock uh, Chianti Lavender Soap and some of the Aftershave Wax. So I'm super stoked to try it. Something else rattly in there. I don't know if she sent some cologne or maybe she ordered an Omega brush while she was there. I don't know. It's it's about the size of a uh, Pro 49 box. I mean, incredibly curious. It's it's it really is kind of like being a kid again with me shaking boxes and trying to figure out what's in them. Um, you'd think I'd outgrow that, but really, I I get wrapped gifts <laughs> once a year. Then there's something about putting on a Christmas for your kids that makes you feel like a kid again because you get to recapture, you know, your idea of, of what Christmas was to you as a child, which hopefully was awesome. Kids shouldn't be robbed of Christmas or a holiday tradition. Uh, you know, I... Everybody deals with it differently, based on their spirituality, or lack thereof. Or a mixed household. I'm an atheist, my wife isn't. And I'm not, I'm not offended by people saying Christmas or talking about Christ. It doesn't bother me. But I tend to say Happy Holidays. Um, which direction am I going? Oh yeah, down the jawline. Um, and I would never try and take away the magic of Christmas from my kids until they're old enough to make their own decision. And that's just about all I'm going to say about that. It's a bad time of year to try and have a discussion about it. Truth be told, text isn't exactly the most, uh, best way to have a discussion about spirituality. I've seen how it goes on the internet. No matter how good everybody's intentions are, because it's so deeply personal, people get fired up real quick. I just saw, uh, Steve's Facebook rant about, uh, shopping local and turkeys. Hope your turkey turns out well. Um, sounds like it's going to be a good one. My 
fully behind you on shopping local thing. Sometimes it's not in the cards for me just because I don't get out of the house early enough or some shit happens. And I'm just not there while they're open. And I do have to run over to Tesco because they're open. But I try to avoid it. I'm really afraid for the high street in Ely because the council's pushing through the parking changes. And I think people are, one of the things I'm worried about is people not going to go downtown anymore. I mean, I suppose if they make the all-day rate reasonable, like they initially said they were going to, it'd be all right. But if they make it five pounds a day, that's that's too much. Because their original proposal was one pound a day, which I think everybody can agree is quite fair. Uh, even though I've read a couple of consultation papers uh, from experts who make their living trying to do this kind of thing. Um, you know, making money off the parking, saying that this isn't a viable place to do it, they're just going to end up in the hole like they have in some other towns around here. Um, I don't know. Um, I think that there's some stuff going on I'm not sure of. Because some of the, uh, there's a couple of Tory councillors that have come out against this because of the bait and switch they pulled. Well, I mean, it's not even fair to call it a bait and switch. They said, yeah, we'll, we'll hear your thoughts about it and we'll um, get all this stuff drawn up, look at all the consultations, see what, see what makes sense. And then they went against every bit of consultation they got and said, you know, the hell with you work. I'm gonna charge her for parking. But a few of the conservatives are against. A few of the Lib Dems are against. Uh, I haven't seen much in the lines of uh, what the labor guys are doing. I'm not super involved in the local politics because uh, it's really hard to keep up on local, U.S., my home state, uh, and things going on in the U.K. and in the EU and other areas of interest to me. So I, I kind of have a broad idea of what's going on, but not usually a super detailed one. Yes, and not shaving this area does make this much quicker. I'm just uh, let this sit and simmer for a minute. Picked up while I was out last night. One of those I'm pissed off and want something to make me feel better things. Uh, and I'm not usually a fan of commercial therapy, but I did get excited because they had Prada's Amber uh, Poor Home on sale. Yep. Good stuff. I think when uh, when Christmas in March gets here, also known as tax returns for us Yanks, um, probably going to pick up a bottle of Creed Original Vetiver. I've sampled that previously. I really, really like that. I think it's going to be a good spring scent. And maybe a bottle of uh, Penn's English Fern. I think that stuff is gorgeous. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah. Balm. Back to the L'Oreal. My, uh, you can see this spot's acting up again. So, try and head that off the pass, so to speak. 
excuse me. A little up there. One more over here. It really kills me to not have music on anymore. And by that I mean I was listening to music while I was in the shower. Shut it off. On a good roll. And some Stones and The Who. A couple of Black Flag songs popped up. A couple of Christmas songs popped up. A couple of blues artists whose name I, I honestly don't know because it's just a mixed mixed CD from Alligator Records. They're a smaller independent label. Um, they have some really, really, really great musicians. <clears throat> and well, that's one hell of an atomizer. A little bit there. Well, it can even do less than a whole squirt. That's kind of awesome. Uh, so we'll see how that wears. This seemed like it would be a monster from my sample because I had just kind of missed it over my hand and it was pretty persistent over the course of that evening. Um, so I'm not going to push it too far with that. Hmm. About all I can think of. I'm going to brush my teeth and do my hair. Um, Y'all take care. Have a good one. Good shaves. Um, yeah. Deuces.